reflect on the power of example. When I look at my own life, it's filled with the lives and witnesses of so many different people, especially Jesus youth who have been courageous in their decisions or who have opened up their, their homes and lives um, for me to, to enter into and to see how to actually tangibly live a Christian, a faithful Christian life in this world. Um, so I, I praise God for, for all those people that have gone before me to be that example. But sometimes when we think about that example, it, it pre presents a challenge. Sometimes we look at those examples and say, I can't be like them. Or we feel a certain pressure to say, uh, to, to always do what is right. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, it says, Let us not grow weary in doing what is right. But so often we do grow weary, right? Um, when I was talking to my four-year-old daughter one day, I was reminding her that rather than, than telling her little brother what to do, she should show him by her good example. And she said, Mama, I don't always want to be a good example. It's really hard. And it's a silly experience, but it's really the reality that is within all of us when we tell God, God, this is so hard. I don't want to be a good example. I don't want to be at peace. I don't want to be joyful in the midst of, of these struggles. But the beautiful thing is that we find we can find consolation in scripture. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, it says, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So the power of our example does not rest in the ability to do things right or the ability to perform or to have it all together, but it actually rests in our weakness. It rests in our ability to bring those weaknesses and that brokenness and that messiness to Christ and to allow him to transform it. And, and to boast of those weaknesses that are transformed in Christ is where the power of of our example lives. So when we share with people that even though we are in financial struggles or we are going through different difficulties, sickness and um, challenges, when we when we share the peace and joy that, that rests in our heart, we are making such a, a powerful impact on, on their lives. I think about Mother Mary, especially in her identity as Mary, Queen of the Apostles, when I think about this woman who is an example the apostles are gathered together in this moment of uncertainty they're waiting they're they're confused they're not sure what's going to happen but then mary probably just speaks a few words and she she calls them together and says let's let's wait and let's pray and let's trust right and so they know that her her words her very few words are probably very powerful because it is it is um in the foundation of the witness of her life in the repeated um attempts to to be faithful to god's will in her life and so that is what we're all called to today to be faithful witnesses that people can see that christ is is real in our hearts and in our lives